Hello boys and girls, how are we doing? This mug, yes I have only got one, it does get washed. It's just that I use it all the time in the garage because it's one of these that keeps it warm. Um, <laughs> yeah, don't think I'm a dirty old bugger that just never washes his mug. It's like every video I make, whether got this one or the Land Rover one, it's, they do get washed. Now and again. Right, so um, this video is all about Gwyn Lewis. Gwyn Lewis 4x4.co.uk and um, Gwyn is a, he's got his own Facebook page. He's like a world champion four wheel drive person. I don't know, he's won championships and stuff. He's got a very good name behind him. Makes some wonder, wonder, wonderful products. Um, if you're looking for stuff like Twisted Automotive that's gonna fancy, you know, customize your Land Rover and stuff, he's not the man to go to. He's the man who's gonna give you real solid strong parts that have been tried and tested on numerous vehicles and he's going to give you sound and solid advice on what to do and what not to do i was talking to him about lifts and stuff no don't do this don't do that don't do something else the man is a mind of information so um always worth a chat but don't just ring him up for a chat because obviously you know he's a businessman he needs to uh, he needs to earn money he can't spend 20 24 hours a day talking to people about their uh, Land Rovers like he does to me mm. maybe I should sorry sorry Gwen, I'll stop ringing you um, but anyway um, I guess if you buy this stuff it's okay so what we've got here is um, a set of steering bars this is the the big steering bar kit. What I'll do is I'll put links in the description below to what all this stuff is um, and then you can actually go to the website and have a look and see for yourself. The steering arms kits, there's lots of them for lots of different vehicles. They're all covered. They're made by a company called Sumo Bars, who is a company that Gwyn bought out um, a few years back and they have got a very, very good reputation. They're solid steel instead of the lightweight thin tube crap that Land Rover puts on them. Really, really good, really, really solid. Um, you also get very heavy duty um, greasable ball joints, um, if you choose. And then uh, there's the option of changing the drop arm as well, which I'll go into, which I've done. So I'll show you all that, and I'll show you the standard Land Rover stuff next to it. Um, I've got some bits and pieces, some little bits and pieces to go through, which you'll enjoy. And I've got two different styles of diff guard. Um, one of which I'll definitely be fitting, the other one I don't know. So uh, we'll see where we go from there, but I will show you on the axles how they both fit. So but I may not be fitting one of them. So um, without further ado, let's start to get this unboxed. Now, I'm not going to go through unboxing this because they're just boxes, okay? Now, I was amazed to see this came in four packages for a start. I th I'm, one thing for me, um, about packaging is for me it makes or breaks a dealer you know I, I my other channel as you know I do scale modeling and I have had models sent to me before in, in jiffy bags and the models just got crushed whereas I've had models sent to me in you know a, a 12 by 3 inch box 12 by 24 by 3 inch box comes in like a 24 inch square carton all packed up with paper and stuff and it just doesn't get damaged and inside the box they put bubble wrap and stuff you know it's it's Packaging for me is a major thing and it's one of the things I'm very fussy about when I sell stuff on eBay. I make sure stuff is well packaged so that when you sell it, you, you, you're you not selling somebody that's something that's substandard by the time it gets to them. I basically think, how would I like to receive this myself? So, and this, I mean, I think these bars have been attached to a piece of wood. I've got to be honest. So I'm going to unpack this on camera and we'll, we'll see. So you can enjoy my pleasure of seeing how well this has been packaged up by Gwyn Lewis. So um, let's get to the bench, we'll turn the camera around and um, we'll have a look through all this stuff. As I say, we'll unpackage this and we'll just have a look at what's in those boxes and compare it to the standard stuff. Okay, so here we are at the bench with lots of goodies. I've unpacked everything except for these bars. And I must say, if Gwyn's watching this, thank you very much, or whoever does your packaging, thank them. Packaging is unbelievable. And look at these ball joints there, in a box, wrapped up in bubble wrap, wrapped up in cardboard, and cling film and then when you open the box they're, they're in bubble wrap as well you know they're bloody ball joints for god's sake they're wrapped better than some parts i buy for scale modeling thank you very much now this this is obviously going to be steering bars so let's just have a look in here let's remove this wonderful black coating which is a fantastic addition because it keeps everything um dry 
which is a, which is a good thing. Now I can see that's cardboard there, so I don't have to worry about pushing in too hard with a knife there. Something I'm always careful of when I'm packing stuff is digging in with the knife. As we can see, as I say, you know, this may be boring guys. Um, please don't tell me in the comments because I'm really not interested. Sometimes it's nice to see just how well people pack stuff. And as you can see here, you know, fantastic. Really, really chuffed. As we can see, these are actually strapped to a piece of wood, unbelievably. Look at that, yep, they are strapped to a piece of wood and there's the nuts and everything on there with cable ties. Let me get this finished unpacked and then we'll have a look at them. Okay, like an hour later, <laughs> it feels like an hour that I got all the packaging off. Handy nice piece of wood for something or other and a piece of MDM. So uh, yeah, great packaging, really, really chuffed with that. So this is our track rod bar. This is the main bar that goes behind the front axle. As we can see, the ends are all protected with um, with some cling film. Now I'm going to leave that on because there's um, there's going to be some grease and anti-seize in there. Um, so these are 30 millimeter diameter. They're zinc plated or they're plated. I'm not sure if it's zinc, but they're, they're bright plated so they won't rust. I'll probably paint them anyway. So I have to find some special primer. Um, and yeah, you can see that one end, one end has got a left hand thread, one end has got a right hand thread. I think it's the right hand thread that's marked with the groove, as you can see there, or vice versa. And then you also get in this kit, because this is the 30 millimeter complete steering bar kit, drop arm conversion and tract bar kit. This one is 234 pounds, including the VAT which is nice to see that it's quoted including VAT and so many companies don't do that these days. So with this kit, you're going to get these two bars. So this is your actual, um, this is your um, steering bar kit. This is not kit, this is the steering bar itself. Now this bar here replaces this bar here. Okay, so let's just turn around so you can see it better. So as you can see on here, just check you got that in shot. As you can see on here, we've got a cranked end on this and it's just a thin steel tube and I can lift that easily. It weighs practically nothing. And then you've got a ball joint on the end, which is non, non greasable. So um, with this one, you're getting greasable ball joints. But this is the bit that concerned me with this here. And that would be so easy to, if you gave that a big knot with some big tires, I think that would be the weakest point in your steering. Um, the other reason I wanted this, it's not only because it's a heavy duty bar and it's not going to bend. Remember, you whack that on a tree stump, it's just going to bend up. Um, you're also getting with the kit the straight drop arm. Now, this is basically a discovery drop arm. This is a defender drop arm. Now, you can see I was going to use it. Um, it's all painted and lovely and everything. Now, the way this goes together, basically, you can see this on the, on the Windows website if you have a look. This goes together. If I just take that nut off of there. This goes together like so. Okay? So you can see that you've got a swan neck here. Just put the nut back on there a couple of turns. So you've got a swan neck here. Okay? And then we've got another swan neck here. So you can see that basically it's swan neck city. It's just weak. Okay? Um, I'm sure there's people that are going to say, well, Landro's have had it for years and they're absolutely fine, but I'm sure there's people who are going to say they've tapped this on a tree stump and it's bent or they've bent this here or whatever. The other thing is this ball joint, take this off again now, this ball joint on the end of this arm is from my TDCI Defender, as you all know, 2011, 16,000 miles, never really been off road. Look, that ball joint's got playing already. It's, it's, it's on the way out basically 
there's a sewer clip in there and then you press the ball joint out and apparently it's quite difficult to do. I've never done one, I won't have to do one because I've got this now. So basically what you're getting with this, you're getting rid of this pressed in ball joint and the swab deck. You're getting rid of the thin steel tube and the swan neck. You're getting rid of the non-adjustable ball joint and you're replacing it all with a straight non-swan necked drop arm, a straight non-swan non necked steering arm and a pair of standard ball joints. Now there's four of these in the kit. There's going to be two left and two right hand. I don't need to get them all out but you can see the quality beautifully machined lovely thread on there ball joint in here so you can grease them and that's the main thing they're greasable uh, modern Land Rovers aren't so having that greasable is going to be a great great help to longevity and you've got the nut and the, the nylon nut and the washer and everything on there now this one I can see is a right hand thread this other one here will be a left hand thread and they will go into each end of there I'm not going to screw them in now because I don't want to get the aluminium anti seize everywhere but basically that's what you're getting so you're converting from a standard non-adjustable ball joint to an adjustable heavy duty ball joint and then with the steering bar this is what you're replacing I'll put this on the bench next to it so you can see let's get that heavy duty one out of the way that's what we're replacing now this bar here I can probably yeah, I can flat, I don't know if you can see that. I'll put that in under the vise. I don't want to damage the, the boot rubber, but basically I can flex that on there. And if you I mean, if you look on one of Mike's videos recently, Botanica Restorations, he had a road going defender come in and this was bent. So, you know, it slips on a jack, you go over a stump or something, you know, it bends really, really easily. You ain't going to bend that. Okay. And then also you're getting the adjustable board joints for, not adjustable sorry well they are adjustable for length but you're getting the um the greasable heavy duty ball joints and um and they're going to be the same ones as you get for the steering bar and then you've got on here you've got your lock nuts so instead of having these silly little clamp things that often seize up and then they seize up in there you've actually got like a decent you know a decent machine thread and then a decent size lock nut so you keep it all greased keep it clean you know it's going to last for years and years and years and if you keep the keep the ball joints greased they're going to last probably 10 times longer than those the only thing i will say and this is what Gwyn has told me and if you look online you will find this is common across all aftermarket parts these days the ball joints whether you buy these or standard aftermarket ones for land rovers unfortunately these days these rubbers don't last five minutes they last anything from six months to 18 months apparently and Gwyn will tell you that himself so what he's done he is having made polyurethane ball joint rubbers. So if like me, if you just buy the steering bars, if you've got a 2011 Land Rover, you could take these ball joints out and fit these into here. And these rubbers will be absolutely fine because they're old, they're genuine, they're absolutely fine. If you've got new ball joints that you've bought from Halfords or your local supplier or whatever, you might want to change these rubbers over from the old one or get the new polyurethane ones from Gwyn. And here they are. So basically what you get in there is a polyurethane ball joint, a polyurethane ball joint boot, should I say. And they come in sets of four. And because they're polyurethane, they should last forever. As long as you don't get heat on them, they should last forever. And they, came in, they come in sets of four and they are 10.99 including the VAT for the four off and he thoroughly recommends buying these whenever you buy these ball joints. Now he's shown me how to fit these and I'll show you how to fit them too um, by taking this clip off and then putting it back on without um, causing any damage at all and then the same would apply if you're going to use your old rubbers off your old ball joints but really 10.99 for the four it's a no-brainer really is a no-brainer fit and forget so, and they also do one, while I'm on the subject, they make one for the A-frame as well. This is the big A-frame ball joint rubber, which is, um, which is worth having as well. So, um, that one comes in at £3.74, including the VAT. So, again, if you're buying a new A-frame ball joint from wherever you buy it, 
I would be tempted to get one of these poly. And just before I finish up with the um, the, the, the steering arm kit and everything, um, you also get in here, you get a full set of instructions on how to, it's not instructions, but it's how to fit it and some hints and tips basically. Um, it's basically giving you a dimension between your drag link bar, the ball joints is 92.5 centimeters, and it's telling you you must secure that, um, your drop arm, 176 newton meters, and then you know make sure it's done a little bit of work and then check the torque again before you actually bang the tab washer over you do actually get a new tab washer and a nut for fitting it which is a, which is a nice touch and then over the page here it's telling you the angle the steering arm should be at or the drop arm should be at um some people get it wrong it only go on it goes on four ways but you obviously don't want to get it wrong it just it just points off to one side and then here you've got the this is the arm that fits the steering damper and you can see you've got the eye type there where it bolts through. I think they also do one for pin as well. But here's basically the, the kit you're getting. You've got your bracket that bolts on. You've got your two eye bolts. You've got your bolt going through there. So this is for the standard type Land Rover pin and eye. Um, I'm sure they do one pin and pin as well. So you can see it on there it's saying Defender Damper Eye Pin. So there we go. So let's um, get all this put away and then we'll move on and look at some other stuff. Right, so here's the rest of it now on the bench. And as you can see, we've got a rear A-frame mount with um, greasable ball joint. We've got a pair of heavy duty diff guards here with the uh, sump plug bung already welded in, which is good. And um, so let's have a look at all this stuff. So first of all, here's my old one. Now, again, I'm gonna say this, I'm, I'm not just trying to be a salesman here. Um, I have no interest in Gwyn Lewis products or I have no, um, you know, none of this was free or anything. So I'm telling you how it is. This took me probably three hours to get out. Um, and then I phoned Gwyn and he said he doesn't supply just the ball joint on its own. He only does it like this because so many people have had issues pressing these ball joints in and getting the bolts lined up and stuff. So basically doing all that was a waste of time. So I've got a spare one of those now. Um, basically now Gwyn only sells this as an assembly so it comes with the the brand new a-frame bracket you've got the ball joint pressed in with it all bolted down you've got the grease proof um, the grease cover on the back and you've got the the grease nipple there and I believe these are also possibly adjustable you can unstake them and wind them in a bit if you wanted to comes with a new washer new nut and a new split pin so that there, and you can have that with or without the bolts. So these are the bolts that attach it to the A-frame. So if you get this um, with the bolts, it's £80.22. And without the bolts, it's £72. So again, that's inclusive of VAT. So that's not a bad price for all of that. And again, I would suggest for £3.74, get the polyurethane rubber as well. Well worth doing. So that's that one. All this stuff comes lovely and bubble wrapped and everything, it's really nice. Um, so that's the uh, ball joint taken care of. Then we've got these heavy duty diff guards. Well, what more can I say? I will be doing a fitting video on this. But basically these are 6mm steel and they're designed to, what you do is you cut the old diff pan off, the old pumpkin, and you weld this one on. Um, and these are basically the DIY, so basically all it is is tacked together. As I say, the bung is welded in, but all of this is just tacked. So basically what you do here is you just weld it all up, weld the outside first, clean it all up, make sure you've got a nice weld on the outside, and then weld the inside. Always, always weld the outside first, and I'll show you why when I do it. Um, but they are absolutely solid, you ain't going to dent them. These are six mil thick. The standard front um, diff pan pumpkin is around one and a half to two millimeters. So um, yeah, you hit one of those on a tree, you're gonna know about it. You hit one of these on a tree, you're probably gonna hurt your neck, but nothing else. So um, there we go. And as I say, they come with the diff, the, the bung already welded in. Um, there have been some issues in the past with people welding these in and having distortion, getting spatter in the threads and stuff. So. Gwyn's decided as a service he'd just do that himself, which is good of him. So um, you can see he's cleaning the weld up as well, which is nice. So basically my plan with those is to weld them up on the outside, get them all smoothed out so it's looking like one piece of metal, um, and then weld them to the diff. And as I say, I'll do a full how-to on that. They're also, they're these, actually the DIY, these actually come in, right, let me look at my prices. 
These are 51, all these prices include VAT. These are 51.60 each or 103.20 for the pair, if you want to go front and rear. Or if you go for them with them all fully welded and polished and everything, it's 81.60 or 163.20 for the pair. So you're better off, um, if you're like me, you like doing your own welding and stuff, go for the DIY ones, £51.60. And what I'm going to do is weld them up and then I'll go in the back stand and we'll cover all that when I come to do it. So basically, um, that's that. The other option you've got, if you don't want to go cutting your pans off and everything, is you've got this one. This is the weld on diff protector. Basically, this just goes onto your diff and welds here, here, and here. As you can see, if you can imagine, that's the original diff that goes on like that. Okay? Now, this is a very, very simple solution. It can be fitted without removing anything. The problem with this is, in my opinion, and this is only my opinion which counts for nothing, you've got the same issue with this as you've got with the clamp-on style. You've got traps down in here, you've got traps in here because you won't get in there and weld that. So you'll have traps in here, traps down here, traps down here for water and mud to collect and basically stay damp and cause corrosion. Now, corrosion on your axle casing, it's like six mil thick, it's probably not going to be an issue. But with those clamp-on type diff protectors, I've heard of them I've never actually witnessed one myself, but I've heard of them corroding through where they, they clamp around and um, they, they can actually cause corrosion and rust through. So worth bearing in mind that that's why I've gone for this type. It's, it's absolutely solid and they look bloody lovely when they're on. Whether I use this on the back or not, I don't know. I certainly wouldn't use this on the front, but I would definitely use it on the back. Um, but this is probably the better solution. Either way, whichever one I don't use, I'll be selling on. So... There we go. And then finally, the last couple of things. If you buy these, they come with a magnetic diff, diff filler plug to go in. You can see they're magnetic. They're lovely. They've got a thread sealer on them as well. Or you can buy a set of five. So that's two for your diff fillers, two for your diff drains, and one for your transfer box filler. Chat McGuinn the other day, I'd never thought of this. He said, you're better off if you've only got one, put it on the filler rather than on the drain. Because when you put it on the filler, you take the filler out to check your oil, that's when you'll find all the bits of metal in there and notice that you've got any, some issues going on. Whereas if you leave it on the drain, you're only ever going to notice the issues when you drain the oil. So one for the transfer box, two for the diff drains, two for the diff fillers. Only reason being you have two in the, in the diff or only one in the transfer box is because you're going to get more metallic debris from your diff than you are from your transfer box. Unless, of course, you've got a transfer box like I had. Go back on my videos and you'll see what I mean. So you can buy these. You can just buy two. Um, and these are, where were my prices? Two of these, again, including that, £9.60. Or you get the set of five, £24. So, buy again. This grease here, it's a K48, K48 um, molybdenum grease. This is uh, recommended by Gwyn as being awesome stuff for all your bits and pieces, all your ball joints and everything you need to grease, your UJs and all that. Um, and this is £3.42 for this tube. Um, and for five, it's £17.10. So really, really glad I got this. Um, once I get everything on, I can grease all my ball joints, grease all my prop shafts, and I know they'll be okay. I also need to speak to Gwyn again about CV joints on the front, because I'm sure he said that this is good for them as well. But don't take my word for it. I'll, I'll let you know in the future. So there we go, guys. So that is basically everything that I got from Gwyn today. Um, all, as I say, beautifully packaged, great big delivery, and all laid out on the bench and all ready now for fitting. So very, very soon, very soon, I will start doing the work on the front axle, cutting the diff pan off, and then preparing all of this for welding and everything. And I'll show you exactly from start to finish how I go. It won't be a boring video where I'll be filming every two seconds of the welding. But I will show you every step of the way as we go and tacking to avoid distortion and stuff like that. So um, if you've got a Land Rover and you can weld and you enjoy fabrication, go get yourself some. For everything else, go look at the um, Gwyn Lewis website. As I say, gwynlewis4x4.co.uk. That's G-W-Y-N Lewis 4x4.co.uk. And uh, he's got a massive range of items on there. And as I say, if you're after bling and dressing your Land Rover up, Maybe not the best place to go, but if you want really sound, solid, tough, you know, equipment that's going to get you over landing, off-roading, or just building a truck, you know, he's got everything you're going to need. 
Oh, and one thing I did forget, this came in the package as well. Yes, bit of bedtime reading. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you all very soon with a, with a how-to video on these discs. Bye for now.